Hey, what's up little art lovers? I am Nirma and today we are going to paint animals from our fingerprint. So this tutorial is for anyone who have this urge to paint. So grab your colors and paintbrush. Let's get started. So the materials used here are watercolor cakes, paintbrush, drawing paper, black gel pen, tissue paper and water. I have used the specific uh, materials and the details about the materials are in the description box. So wet the watercolor cake by the help of a paintbrush. So for giraffe we need yellow color and then take your clean thumb and dab it on the watercolor cake. Either you can uh, smear the thumb with the help of a paintbrush by taking the same color or you can just dab it on the watercolor cake. So I'm just smearing it up by the help of a paintbrush. Again I'm dabbing it because I'm not that happy with it. So dab dab dab. So here is my first fingerprint. So for the giraffe we need two fingerprints and if we if if we don't get the proper uh, thumb print what we can do is that again you uh, dab the thumb onto the same watercolor and uh, press it onto the same place where you have made the thumb impression and again load your paintbrush with the yellow color to draw the neck of a giraffe so this will be the neck and now I am taking the fine liner for the outline to draw it is always advised to wait until the color gets right otherwise the pen ink will just you know spread Here I'm, I didn't wait for a longer time. So this is our legs for the animal. And then draw the patterns on the neck as well as the body. Okay. I'm going to draw eyes, nose, followed by ears, yes. I'm taking the brown color with the help of a paintbrush to fill the patterns. So here I'm filling the patterns. Now our giraffe is getting into the shape. Yes, there it goes. And final touch. Oh, before that, let me just uh, fill this white portion of the body with the same yellow color. So now the final touch, that is the tail. Ah, done. So our next animal will be elephant. So for this we need four fingerprints. I am taking grey color. I dabbed my thumb with the grey color. 
and I'm going to put four fingerprints okay here is the third fingerprint followed by the fourth fingerprint again I'm not going to wait for a longer time so I'm using my fine liner to draw the outline for our elephant yes just leave a little bit of space to draw the trunk of an elephant on the left side yeah here this will be the trunk of an elephant here it goes I'm drawing the ear okay followed by legs cute little legs yes we did it the eyes and the smiley face and the tail I'm going to take a little bit of black onto my thumb for the ear for the highlight sake yeah taking a brush and just spreading the color see now you can see the spreading of the ink of a pen right so that is the reason I keep on saying that you know better to wait until all the fingerprints uh, gets right okay so even if it happens even if there is a spread of a pen ink what you can do is you can wait until everything is right see now you can see the spreading right so wait until whole uh, uh, thing is dried after that again go back to the same spot now the ear spot there is a spreading so take the same pen and then you know just draw the line upon that so that will fix your uh, painting so our elephant is ready now isn't that cute I love it so our next animal is tiger so for the tiger I have drawn already two fingerprints but I'm not happy with it so again I'm dabbing my color yellow color onto the thumb and placing my thumb onto the same spot for the tiger and I am now using the pen to draw the outline for the tiger here goes the ear nose mouth legs and the tail and cute little eyes Now I'm drawing the stripes for the tiger. Yes. And alternative stripes for the tail as well. Later I'm going to fill this tail with the same yellow color. So here the tail and a bit of color to the ears as well.
So our tiger is ready. Cute little tiger. Now our next animal will be lion. For the lion also, we will be taking two thumb prints for the head as well as for the body. I'm not going to wait for a long time. So I'll be drawing the outline. This will be the main of the tire lion. I don't have much space for the tail so I'm drawing it a bit low. You can make it above. Draw the eyes, nose, mouth, statues. I'm completing the head part of the lion. So for the white part I am using once again the same color, just filling it up. And for the mane I will be using orange color to get a highlight even for the tail as well. So here is our lion. So here are our cute little forest animals. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and also to click the bell icon for notification. Also like and follow to see my artwork on Facebook and Instagram. You can find the link in the description below. Let me know if you try this tutorial and don't forget to share it with me. Heart hugs and peace. Namaste.